Hi, my name is Richard Hutchinson and I am going to be helping you out a little bit with messing around with some of the functions that you can use in the program called AutoCAD Civil 3D. Um, AutoCAD Civil 3D is a parametric modeling program set up uh, that rides on top of the AutoCAD program. So it has a lot of the same commands, but then it has additional ones that allow you to cre uh, figure out volumes, create cuts and fills, corridors, things like that. It's a great program, huge program. Uh, we're only going to hit a couple of the features um, because that's really all we got time for. But hopefully I can get you looking in the right direction, realizing what a use it is, and there's plenty of tutorials and everything that you can use from that to um, create your new uh, projects and, and expand your knowledge on the thing. So that's kind of the plan for what we're going to talk about today. Um, the first thing that we are going to talk about though uh, in the whole project is actually cleaning up files to bring in a Civil 3D because we can bring in the files as is but it's a lot better to bring them in um, with a little bit different workflow where we're thinking about a little bit better on how to organize things and all. And so that's what we're going to talk about with this uh, first set of uh, videos. And then we're going to get bring the files into Civil 3D and then we'll start messing around with the volume. So that's the plan that we're going to work with. Um, and so we'll kind of go from here. Okay, so let's look at what we have right now. I've opened up the file that you were given, which is called Spring 2012 Topo M. PLS drawing. Uh, I'll open it up in AutoCAD, not Civil 3D, but I just wanted to look at this file. Uh, when you open it up, it defaults to actually opening up in the layout mode. Now, if you can't remember what layout mode is, that's basically the uh, mode that's used to set up the drawing and the views that you're going to use whenever you plot, which is great, but completely worthless for us right now. So let me go ahead. I'm going to click over here and switch to model go to the model space where we can see the whole picture. Uh, a couple things you should notice. Uh, first off, the thing's orientated different. It's actually not orientated different here. It's actually orientated right. In this view, it's rotated because it's done so that uh, it fits on the page better. But if you notice, here's true north going off at an angle. And if you look at the model, that's not what's happening. Uh, the other thing is we've got a lot of stuff going on here. We've got all of our contours and everything else. We also have all this little information. And uh, we have also have a lot of information that's not really going to be of any use to us. And that's really what this first thing is going to be talking about. Um, getting rid of the stuff that we don't need so that we can bring a cleaner drawing into Civil 3D. And so let me show you what I'm talking about. If I go to layers, look at all the layers that I have here. I've got, starting off at zero, I've got all these layers. They're all named different things and everything. And it's just a lot of information that's coming into this program. Well, some of this isn't even being used. It was just created uh, maybe for one part of the project or another, and it's just not used anymore. And so it's just sitting there. And so what we'd like to do is clean up this drawing so that we don't have all these worthless layers. Now the first way you can do this was called purge and purge is a, uh, a way that you can get rid of layers that um, layers and blocks and everything that aren't being used at the time and it's a, it's a nice little thing. It's been around for a long while um, but it's really not going to do what we like it to. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just I'm going to take the information I want. I'm going to pull it out and put it in another drawing, and that's the drawing that I'm going to bring into my Civil 3D. Now, what information is useful to us? Well, obviously, one of the things is we we need surfaces in Civil 3D, and one of the ways you can get surfaces is by pulling in data like contours and everything like that. Well, right here I have contours, and so that's very useful data. So that's one thing that I'm going to use. The other thing that's useful is this whole area right here, which has our boundary, uh, previous projects worked on the area, and everything like that. So those are the two bits of information that I want. Now. Let's look at the first part that I talked about, the contours. If you notice the contours, they're actually an XREF file. And I'll show you how I know this. Um, I clicked on them, and you see them all change into the dotted lines. 
um, dash lines, but that could also be a block. But whenever I click on it, I come over here and I notice that my ribbon has changed and it says, hey, this is an external reference. This is something that is brought into this file and is referenced in this file, but it's, it's safe in its own uh, .dwg drawing somewhere. And so that information, all that contour information is actually being referenced into this one. So one of the workout or one of the workflow things in Civil 3D that I tend to like to do is try to get use the original file as much as possible. And so if that's the case, I am going to bring in information in a Civil 3D, but I don't want it to be brought in like I don't want to bring in this file, this whole spring 2012 file, and actually have the XREF file piggybacked on the back of that one. I, it's kind of causing a double uh, XREF and that can cause some problems uh, when you transfer files, which occasionally you have to deal with. And so what instead I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in all of that topo in from its original format. And so I really don't need it in this case. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to this command that says isolate. Now isolate's a great little option. Um, what it allows you to do is it allows you to um, hide objects or and that you don't want to deal with and then you can bring them back later but you're not really turning off layers or anything like that you're you're it's just an extra tool that you can use in your uh, design process to to uh, move things off kind of out of sight while you're working on things and then bringing them back in without really causing a lot of problems and so I'm going to go over to isolate and I'm going to select hide objects and if you notice my contours go away now they're not hidden I didn't come up and turn off the layer. Uh, they're not. It's not a hidden layer. It's just they're they're turned off for right now. Uh, so uh, we can look at the other information without being confused. And if you look at this, here's what I've got. I've got all of this, which is useful information. The the useful stuff I want from this file is all sitting right here. And so what I'm going to do is I want to pull this stuff out of this file and create its own that doesn't have any of the XRES attached to it, doesn't have any of the unused layers attached to it and everything like that. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use a command called WBlock. Now WBlock is a way that I can take my information, group it together, and then at, uh, set it up as a separate drawing elsewhere and some people don't use w block that way but it's a really good way of of utilizing uh, some commands that have been around in AutoCAD for a long time and so I'm going to come in and type in w block and it's going to come up with this old dialog box if you've ever created a block before you've seen this if not that's okay um, what it's going to do is it, it asks me a little bit of information it's going to ask me base point and I'll talk about that in a little bit. And then it's going to ask me objects uh, and ask me to select the objects. So I'm going to do that. And then it's going to ask me to put them somewhere. So those are the three things that it's really asking me to do. Right now, I'm not going to worry about base point. I'm going to come over to select objects. And I'm just going to draw a window around all of this stuff. And with all that in there, all that selected, that's good. The base point, I'm actually going to keep it at 0, 0, 0, the origin. And the reason why is all three of my files, my Civil 3D file, my XREF file, and this file, all have the exact same origin. And so if I keep this as the base point to bring in, I know it's going to line up with both my XREF topo and my Civil 3D origin correctly and so I'm going to keep that as the base point. The base point is really the point that, that it comes in on and so I'm going to keep that there. Uh, now I've got to figure out where I'm going to put this. I'm going to save this onto my desktop. You can save it wherever you like, um, your hard drive or whatever and I'm going to call it boundary and work area and it's a drawing file. Uh, if you notice I already had made one so it's I'm going to actually copy over that one. But I'm going to go ahead and hit save 
look at all the stuff. I'm not going to mess with the units or anything else. I'm going to hit OK. And mine gives me a warning because, like I said, I had already had it created. I'm going to copy over that one. And that's going to create that file. So let me show you basically what you get out of that. First off, let me right click here, go to isolate in object isolation. And so this is how our original file looks, has all this stuff here. Let me go to open and find the file I just wrote to and click. And this is what I end up with. So if I look at this, I've got all the files that I came in with, they're all here, but here's here's the cool thing with it. If I come over here to layers, it's a much, much shorter list of um, layers that I have in this file. It's got rid of all the ones that weren't being used in my case, which is just great. And so let me go ahead and close that. And this is the file I'm going to bring into Civil 3D. So. What we're going to do next is we're actually going to open up Civil 3D. We're going to bring this file in, and we're as an XREF. We're also going to bring in our XTOPO as an XREF, and then from there we're going to start building up our own little uh, project. All right. So that's what we're that's what the plans are.